This is wicked. Welcome to my channel. Vlog live twenty four seven. <laughs> Wow guys, look at this place, some really, really wonderful pictures. As you know, some people in this world like to look at others in a lower light, although we're all here on earth as humans, but uh, yeah, sometimes you have to end up fighting for your rights, fighting just to be a normal human being wishing to live on this earth support their families and live their lives and these pictures reflect the struggle or struggles that people go through that they have to highlight there he is you have a good run it's oh, wonderful. It How you doing, my man? How's it going? Wow, it's wonderful. Some really, really nice photos, and the, obviously the meaning behind it all says it all, Thank doesn't you. it? It says it all. There's one that stands out. What are you saying with these? Obviously, he's a from a Jewish faith. So with this, I mean, this was the interesting juxtaposition of Jewish faith in support of uh, what's happening in Palestine. Yeah. So I really, That's when I saw wonder. I really, I thought that was just a powerful, powerful. Powerful, yeah. 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 So he, with some of his friends or relatives, I'm not sure, but were uh, stood by Trafalgar Square. Uh, the procession were moving from um, um, Russell Square to Parliament Square. And I saw this this young man, and it was quite animated. And I just thought, just snap and just capture that shot. Yeah, um, wonderful shot. What I think the um, transition, the style transition, over the last couple of years from when I did George Floyd, was I I now try to I call it work in the work in freeze, foreground, mid yeah. background. Um, so with a lot of the more recent work, you know, I, 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 I try to capture something in between the foreground and the background. Background. Just generally it's the other way. Like a portrait of something, it would be front, sharp, back, yeah. blur. I, I You've gone the other way. Yeah. And for me that really, really works. And it was something that I was, I was toying with, with some of the pictures I was taking on during the George Floyd um, demonstrations. For example, this one here was John Boyega with uh, the shoulder deliberately in the foreground yeah. and then the shoulder in the background. Yes. Uh, this one here, people's heads in the foreground, midground and background. Yes. Um, it's a style that I'm, I feel really, really comfortable with. Right, and, yeah. Uh, and I think it, what it does is it, it, it gives something different to the narrative of the picture. Uh, and it, it not just creates visual depth, but I also think that, you know, it helps to kind of cement what the picture is trying to say. So I initially came up with the book title. It was about um, looking at protest as a celebration. And as much as some countries, we don't have the right to protest. We yes. still have that, that democratic right yeah. to protest. And, and I really wanted to, to, to show that. I think we take it for granted. Yes, um, yes. And in certain places where they demonstrate, they, they celebrate the fact that they're able to, to, to take part in this democratic right. And, and that's a power, when you look at it in that, in, in that context, that's such a powerful thing to be able to do. I want more of us to be able to do that. That's wonderful. So, how long have you been doing this? I mean, what's your, what's your story? You know, I can, you, I can, you, you, you're, I can... You're in Brixton, you've got a shop here. And there, are two, there are two stories. One is that, yes, I am from Brixton. I would have been four or five. You're a Brixton <laughs> resident? Are you Brixton? Oh, God, yeah. Through and through. Through and through. I would have been four or five when my mum used to drag my ass through the street. Yes, yes, yes. 
and back then when Brixton was considered in the same sentence as Johannesburg and Compton has been the worst, one of the worst places. Yes, in the world yes, to I remember those days. Yep, yep. To, to then come back some years later and have my gallery <laughs> between cappuccinos and lattes, it's changed. Change, change is inevitable. Yes, I think that's it's life. important to remember the history of the area. Brixton is the most activated spot in this whole country. Brixton yeah. is activism, activism is Brixton. Yeah. So let's not forget that. You know? So that's why this space in this location is so is so necessary. Could it work elsewhere? It could, but would it have the same power? I, look, I want this to be in other areas, but I yeah. wanted it to start here, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. And that was important. But if, if I can show you, I can show you my journey. I'll show you my journey in pictures. My journey started here. Um, this is a picture I took of my two children 20 years ago. My daughter's now 24. And I remember this was when I, I, I started with my, my first camera, which was a Nikon D70. Uh, and whenever you put it on auto, the flash would pop up Yeah, back in the day. But I took this picture before knowing much about photography. But what it does is it, it the peace and serenity in these two innocent children just looking out the window. For me, it's just so powerful. So powerful, that's wonderful. You know? That was when I, I would call myself local camera. The second picture that kind of helped to um, cement my journey was this picture, and I took this in 2017. And I right. took this in... I've, uh, I've noticed something there straight away. This is in colour. It is. So that's the first thing <laughs> I've noticed out of all your prints here. It's the this only is the one. First one I've seen in colour. In colour. Yes. And there is a reason behind that. I, I find that, for me, protest works better when you strip out the colour. It, it almost sings more Ooh. when you're just left with the raw tones of black and white. There is a very, very, very slight amount of colour, 5%. But with this image, oh, Cuba, Havana, such a warm, inviting, vibrant place. Yes, yes. It would have been remiss of me to completely remove it. You remove it from there. But at, it was at this point I probably switched from being bloke with camera to photographer. And okay. then the third picture in the trinity of journeys would be this one here. Wow, powerful. I took this picture in 2020 yeah. outside the American Embassy in uh, Nine Elms. And I probably had 15 seconds with her. I saw her, I shook my camera, she nodded her head, I snapped, I looked, I snapped, I gave her the thumbs up and I walked off. That and it is wasn't powerful. until I got home when I realised. You realised what you got. Dude, wow. This picture will be iconic. It's, it's, the, so it's the, the compositional hierarchy. You have these people on the outside all leading to this one point. She's got this perfect Angela Davis afro. Her eyes yes. are fixed on you wherever you go. Yes. The irony is that she's masked, but refuses to be silent. I love that. I that, love that. Yeah, that is a great, great. Together. That's a wonderful yeah. statement. And I love the eyes of even some of the people, the crowd, that, that lady they're looking, they look like they're staring at her. Yes. They're just looking she has got the at her make her statement. Yeah. You know, so the fact that she... And she yeah. pointing towards yeah, the triangulation. These two guys out that way. Yeah. You know, and let's be honest, racism is small group energy. So it does so much, it says so much. I believe that I'm a vessel. So I've taken this picture, but I, I honestly I honestly believe that with a lot of the body of work that I do, it comes through me. It's what you feel, what you what you see, you translate yeah. into print. And it's, yeah. It's a powerful message, it's such a powerful message. But, but it's wonderful. also about the, uh, the consistency of the work. You know, it's great to have one or two pictures, but I, I find that the work that went into the book, there are a number of really, really yeah. powerful images yeah. that were in the book. Yeah, I'll be taking one of those, my friend, so, please. Thank you. Thank you. You know, and it's just what London is, how London is. You, you see know. things fragmented, you've yeah. put it in one place. You buy the book, there it is, it's yeah. all there. Yeah. What makes it work even more are the quotes that I got from people on the right. demonstration. Okay. So it's my vision, one, but it's also other people's voices. The 
there, there's another layer <laughs> to it as well, which I'll show you. And it's the illustrations. The illustrations yeah. present what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. So I would go out and I would take a picture. And I would get home and I'd illustrate that picture. Right. Uh, and create what I would call, this is my mental health. Just vomited onto the page. Um, this whole process for me was so enlightening. It was, it was emotional, it was spiritual. And all of these images, all of these images and all of the illustrations from the images really helped to kind of cement what I was feeling, not just what I was seeing. Wayne Campbell. My Instagram is a celebration of demonstration. I am in unit 22B Market Row, Brixton Village, which is off Cold Harbour Lane. We're here open from 12 to 6, Tuesday through Sunday. So please come along, look at the work, add your voice to the wall. This, this is, is another thing, thing, guys. Look at this wall. People come in and they add yeah. messages. These are messages from, from patrons of this establishment. Come in, come down. If you've got something to say, you can say it here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. One day you'll come here and there'll be no space. Look at this, guys. Everywhere. Everywhere. All written by patrons to the establishment. Wow. Everybody having their say. Yeah, guys, that's it. Get yourself down here, Wayne Campbell. Wonderful shop. All the details were given to you by the man himself, so get yourself down here. And I'm going to get myself that book. Yeah, so, Mum, this is coming on to you. Yeah. And I'm too tired to come round today, so I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I think you read your wife is going in there. Please Lord give me a sign, a sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Stay